Okay, so by now you should have all of your small talk intents filled out. Uh, whether you want to make it directional or more conversational, that really depends on your model. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, if you want your agent to take pizza orders, you're going to want it to be very directional. Uh, meaning in all of those small talk responses, you might want to provide an answer to the question, but with an answer, uh, an explanation on how the user needs to respond, needs to interact with the interface. Um, and that's something that you're going to have to think about as an individual, which is why I recommend that you fill out the form on chrisai.com. And when you do that, you're going to be able to talk to me on the phone and we can discuss the best way to implement a language infrastructure into your business. Now, I'm not going to try to sell you anything or anything like that. I know that plenty of people, I've already got several interested people, I know that plenty of people are going to be interested in what I have to offer. And, uh, you know, if you're interested, then let me know. And what I have to offer is building your language interface for you uh, or helping you build your language interface, helping you to construct the language uh, in a way that's going to be, um, that's going to streamline your business, that's going to make your business function better. So if you're a pizza restaurant, you want it to be directional, everything directional to the order. Uh, you know, what would you like today? How can I help you today? Uh, and you want the response to that to be ordering food. That's how you make money. So, um, and when you're looking at a language interface like this, the language is only part of it, okay? The language is the response. So if I want to order a large pizza, um, maybe the response would be, okay, you want a large pizza, what kind of pizza would you like? Okay, would be a follow-up response. And then what kind of crust would you like? Would be another follow-up response. And depending on the price matching and the pricing options available for each of those categories, all of those functions uh, would have to be added to your interface to be able to accurately calculate the price and do all of that stuff. Um, and it's not hard to build the functionality in because it's an input action. You know, it's an input equals a reaction, but it can get kind of complicated when you want it to do the more complex task like ordering a pizza, calculating the order total, processing the credit card information, uh, linking it with your credit card processor, whatever the case is, however you want it to work for you. Um, and that all depends on like web hooks and stuff like that. You're able to do a lot with this interface. Okay, you're able to do a lot more than what I'm going to show you over the next several days uh, in the dialogue flow tutorials. So today we're going to be talking about default fallback intent. And when we're looking at default fallback intent, this is the intent that the interface does not understand. So anything that it cannot correlate or anything that it cannot associate with an intent, it's going to go to the default fallback intent. And if we click on this folder, we can see that there are already a lot of responses that are here. And I don't want any of these here. we're going to come up with our own. And at Chris AI, I want Chris AI to be somewhat directional, but also conversational. And when you're looking at the default fallback, you have to remember that if it doesn't understand, there are a multitude of things that could have been said. The majority of the English language could have been said. So if you want it to sound natural and you want it to be conversational, you're going to have to make it mitigating. Okay, it's going to have to be language that can be either or. Language that you can interpret however you want to interpret. There's kind of a trick to it, you know, and, and you've got to think about the way that a conversation goes to be able to figure it out to be able to do it really well. Because I know I can't do it as well as some of you would be able to. I mean, I know some of you are English majors and you actually understand the structure of the English language. You're going to be able to maybe put it together uh, even better than I would. The purpose of the tutorial is to show you how to go down the path and 
figure out what the best way to do it is for you. Um, and everybody, every business is going to have a different interface. That's why you want to build an individual interface is because you want it to be unique to you. You want it to be an individual that represents whoever it is that you are. That is the future. So uh, on input unknown, um, this is an action. Okay, so the input action can do a number of things. Okay, in, in this case, what we're doing here is we're programming speech. But you could also program a mechanical action. Um, you can program taking an order. You can program querying data. Okay, so if you want the weather wherever it is that you live and you want to integrate that into your interface, you can make your interface query data. Um, in the future, and even now, uh, you know, if you wanted to build your own robot, if you wanted to buy a robot model that is out there available, you're going to be able to integrate your speech into your robotic interface, whatever your robotic interface is. People think of robots and they think of, you know, these human being like things walking around. Robots can be anything. A robotic mechanism. Okay, you can control a robotic mechanism with your speech because the input dot unknown equals an output and the output is down here now the output that we're talking about is language and when we're talking about a default fallback here's here's an example if you want it conversational that is interesting to me you should tell me more about it Okay, so it's conversational, and I might want to insert conversational elements throughout the, the default, where not every response is a Chris AI, hey, uh, you know, let's talk about AI, or let's talk about Chris AI. I want it to be conversational enough to where not every default fallback is going to revert to that, but I'm going to leave it open enough to where it reverts to the default fallback enough that if somebody says two or three things, they're going to get a default fallback response of, hey, by the way, this is how you interact with our interface. And you can make that part of it conversational as well. So if we were making this answer that type of directional answer, I could say something like this. Hey there, by the way, I just wanted to let you know that I specialize in conversations about AI. If you would like to talk about how you can implement an AI interface like myself into your business or into your home ask me for more information okay so that is a response that provides general conversation uh, that is interesting to me. You should tell me more about it. That could be in response to anything. And when you're looking at the default fallback, you don't want to say, oh, gee, I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying. Can you please repeat that? That is what every interface does. You don't want it to do that. You want it to make it sound like it understands what you're saying, whether it does or not. Okay, and this type of response or another one would be like the world is a big place and there are a lot of obstacles that might stand in your way period if you have determination however you can overcome 
those obstacles and shape the world into whatever you want it to be. I believe the future of AI is bright. If you would like to know more about how you can program an AI infrastructure like like myself ask me for more information okay so I could have said anything to that I could have said uh, my girlfriend's mad at me man I just wanted to talk to somebody and I, re I respond with the world is a big place and there are a lot of obstacles that might stand in your way I had a really good day today, man. The world is a big place, and there are a lot of obstacles that might stand in your way. So it's a two-sided thing where if I had a good day, the second part applies. If you have the determination, however, you can overcome those obstacles. And it seems like it's applicable to whatever conversation I'm having. Okay, so that is the trick to the default fallback intent. Another trick to the default fallback intent is 100 or more responses. Okay, so when you get down to 30 at the bottom, if you keep going down from the bottom, it isn't going to let you go past 30. All you have to do is come back up to the top and click enter. And you can go on. You want at least 100 default fallback responses if you want it to be conversational. If you want it to be completely directional, like this is what I want to talk about and this is how you say it, you only need one. Because everything they, they say that isn't applicable to what the machine knows, there's no conversation required. For example, a bank terminal. If you have an interface at a bank that is reacting with customers, you don't want it to be conversational at all. You want it to be able to, first of all, understand what your customer is saying. And a machine can do that 100% of the time better than a human being can. So a machine is going to be able to understand the human better than another human because of speech recognition technology. Um, not only that, in the future, it's going to be able to, when you're talking about banking institutions and stuff like that, the teller window is going to be able to determine right away whether you are the person that you claim to be just by your voice. Okay, that is the future. The Internet of Things. There's going to be integration of new technologies across the board because they are so cheap to produce and they are so easy to install and they're all going to be intelligent. They may not all talk to you, but they are all going to be plugged into the same information. They're all going to be intelligent, and your business is going to have to be intelligent if you want to compete in the future. That's all there is to it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.